Hello. Today I wanted to demonstrate why uh, Slide Rule Analytics sends the Shopify order ID as the transaction ID to Google Analytics and not the order number. So if you come into your Shopify store and you look uh, at your orders page here, you'll see that the orders here shows an order number that looks like this. This is the order number in Shopify. It's not the trend, it's not the order ID. The order ID is this in the URL. Um, that is, this is what we send to Google Analytics for uh, as the transaction ID. In fact, you can see it here, right? This guy, this is a transaction ID. There's a couple of reasons why we do that. The main reason is that it's just easier to find orders uh, with, the, uh, with the order ID. I'll show you how that works. Uh, if I do come up with a transaction ID in Google Analytics 4, I can just copy it and I can go to any order page. I can randomly select any order page in, uh, in Shopify and I can come here and I can paste over that part and it'll take me to this order, right? Um, so it's just easier to get around. Now, there's no downside to using the order ID instead of the order number because the search feature in Shopify still works with the order ID. So you can see if I search for this order ID, it will come up with that order number, right? Um, just like if I had searched for this order number, it still comes up with it, right? Um, so that's the benefit. Um, and that's why we do it. There's a number of other um, more edge case type reasons why we do that. It is actually possible to end up with duplicate order numbers in Shopify that represent actually separate orders. Um, it happens in rare cases when you're importing orders from, uh, from other sources. So like if you're importing orders from a previous system that you were using or something like that, we've seen that before. It's not possible to have duplicate order IDs because that is in fact the unique identifier in Shopify's database. It's more edge case reason why we do it, um, but that's the reason why we do it. Right? Um, it's very easy to generate links to orders uh, in just with Google Analytics for data, the way that I showed. So if you wanted, you could export this data to a Google Sheet and you could write a very easy Google Sheet function to go actually create links to these orders, right? Um, so uh, you could create a link that just concatenates uh, this part of the Shopify, your Shopify URL with the order ID here, uh, and then you would have links just using uh, Google Analytics data. You can't do that with order numbers. So that's why we send order IDs. We send the order ID as the transaction ID into Google Analytics 4. Uh, hope this is helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.